Alright guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been wanting to create some content for YouTube for a while, but I never knew how to start. So I guess if you're watching this, it's finally happening. I decided to create some content in a vlog style. Um, I will be obviously showing a lot of calisthenics content, but I also want to show a bit of my life, you know, like things that I do every day, like, you know, coffee, training, uh, I don't know, reading, um, you know, just how my life is at the moment. For today's episode, I want to show you my front level routine, like the whole training. I wanted to do this because normally we only get to see the final result on Instagram, you know, we only see the highlights of athletes, but I think it's quite important for all of us and we can learn from each other if we start to share more of the behind the scenes. Right guys, so this is some of the new merch. Um, not gonna lie, it's like 27 degrees still here in Valencia. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how this is like looking. Um, I've been getting a few different samples. Um, this one is, you know, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's like drop shoulders. It's like almost 500 GCM, which is like pretty heavyweight. Um, also, the printing is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's looking. It's definitely not a final sample, but I would say it's getting quite close to what I'm looking. Also, the hoodie is quite big, which is something that I found in a lot of different samples that it was not big enough. That was very annoying. So yeah, I'm quite happy about this one. Alright guys, so that's for the warm-up. Um, today's main focus is going to be for the touch and pull of movements. I've been working on them for quite a while now and I want to get better on those. Um, so basically I like to start my training by doing attempts of them. Uh, even though I won't claim them yet, those are skills that I cannot perform yet. I still, I think it's really important to still attempt them. Um, and for me, it works the best in the beginning because it's when you have the more uh, energy. So yeah, let's try. I just did the three sets of touch and one pull attempt. Um, depending on the day, I try to hold the touch longer. Other days I try not to hold it as long. I mean, I don't have that much room either way, but some days I will uh, maybe hold it one less second and maybe try two pulls. Um, but today I wanted to focus on the actual touch and just try to hold it as long as possible and then I just try one pull. Um, I don't think either of the holds were three seconds yet, nor the pulls were perfect form, but I think when I look back on previous um, trainings, I can see some improvement. So, happy with that. Also, another thing are the wrist wraps. I think for front lever, honestly, you don't really need them. I think your wrist is not in a that vulnerable position like in plants, but for me personally it feels like the grip is stronger and also you don't um, scratch your wrist, normally this side will get sore if I don't use them, so that's the reason for me personally to, to use them, but yeah, it's definitely not needed. So 
So when it comes to the front lever pulls, um, that skill is still very challenging for me to the point that I would say I cannot do really one clean rep yet. But still, what I've been trying to focus on lately is at least to stop from uh, at least a minimum uh, dead stop and then initiate the pulling. Um, even though if your pulling pattern is not great, like mine at the moment, and potentially you are not yet touching the bar like it's happening to me, uh, I think it's important for you still to try. So for myself, depending on how I feel that day, I will try to do two reps in one set. Um, I always do three, three sets of them. So today I did two sets of two reps and one set of one pull. Um, so yeah, it's still important for you to try the skill, even if you cannot do it, because the volume is really important in order to progress, even if it's not perfect form. But now I just did three sets of touch and pulls, and then three sets of pulls. Um, lately, what I've been doing, uh, I've been using the bands a little bit more than I was using it before. I still use like light bands, but back then I was always going to use the bands at the end of the workout. But lately, I guess I'm trying to prioritize being on the actual position for a longer time before uh, doing regressing into another uh, progression, like could be half lay or touch uh, or tuck, sorry. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna do a banded combo for two different sets. It's gonna be touch, pulls. Uh, I'm probably gonna do try three pulls. Um, see how it goes. I'm gonna be using this band. Uh, I think it's the 15 kilos one. And I'm gonna be doing some combos. Uh, basically, one of my goals for the end of the year is being able to do some combo involving touch, pull and press. So what I'm going to try to do now is replicate the same combo but with assistance and add more volume. Uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing is uh, touch hold, pulls and press. I'm going to be aiming for two reps of each, maybe three, depending how I feel. I know using bands is one of those topics where everyone has an opinion and you know things in calisthenics work very different depending on each person right so for me uh, what I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be placing the band uh, in this way basically here and then on the feet at least for this combo I like to do that um, the reason why I do this way, I feel like it's more consistent versus just placing it uh, underneath your ass, right? Because here, um, it really depends how much resistance you use, right? So it's not the same if I keep pressing it this way, it's gonna be a lot way harder than if I just do this, right? Um, so yeah, I just feel like when you put it in your ass and your feet, it's easier to uh, make it consistent in terms of uh, assistance, right? So yeah, that's what I've been trying lately and I think I've been making some progress uh, also prioritizing the band over easier progression. Okay, so I'm done with the banded combo. Um, I did two sets of those. Firstly, I did three, three, three. I mean, three seconds, you can get almost three seconds touch and three pull, three presses. And then I did the same with two, two seconds two pulls, two presses. Um, now I'm gonna do into the, I'm gonna move into the next exercise. This is gonna be banded pulls. Um, for the first set, I'm gonna be just placing the band behind my ass. Uh, and I'm not gonna like add any extra resistance. I'm just gonna pull it as, like, as it goes. Um, why I'm doing this is because when you put it like that, um, it doesn't really assist you in the top range, so it makes the exercise uh, harder. Um, basically, even though I've already done a few uh, volume on my pulls, that's definitely my weakest, uh, I guess, link so far. 
and I want to get better. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add more volume. After that, potentially I'm gonna be doing some presses, but yeah, that's not the focus for today. And this is what I'm gonna have for today's lunch. Uh, basically, two tacos with uh, guacamole, some bit of spicy sauce, piri piri. Um, basically, and those are two horse. Yes, we actually eat horse in Spain. Two horse um, patties, which I'm gonna um, smash. Not smash, but uh, I'm gonna make them mince and I'm gonna put it into the tacos. And also lately, um, I've been trying to eat as much uh, gluten-free as possible, at least when I cook uh, home. It just feels uh, that I'm less bloated. I've been having some problems with uh, digestion lately, and I think this uh, is helping me a little bit. So, that's it. Yeah, that one's still pretty hard for myself. Uh, I don't think I touch any single rep, but I still, as I was saying before, I think it's important. Um, focus on your weakness. I think I'm having a hard time to get in the initial explosive snaps uh, that you need for the pull. So I think just by placing the band in the back in such a way it's going to help me develop that uh, weak link. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do another set of those and then I'm going to do uh, some body presses. I just realized I didn't warm up the taco wrap, which it's a bit too late now because I had to walk, but it is what it is. Yeah, also I'm not sure about you guys, but because when training calisthenics and training strength, um, I feel like we normally take a long as rest time. So normally when I train, I just like easily rest like three, four, five minutes, right? So. There's a lot of time that goes in between, and lately I've just been cooking uh, while training. And then when I finish training, the food is ready. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's crazy like some people find eating horse weird, and I think that depends really where you're having rice, you know, like... But here in Spain, and actually even in Valencia with horse, we eat also uh, rabbit in the paella, so... Yeah, so same thing with the presses. I like to put the band underneath by my ass. Uh, that way I find it way more challenging. Um, I think in the beginning I was putting it, uh, maybe like last year I was putting it both ass and feet. And I think it's good in the beginning, but to me that was way too much help. So I think like lately, maybe for the last six months, I've been just placing it under my butt. And yeah, it just makes it way harder and I've been able to gain more strength. So that's the final result guys, simple as fuck, but yeah, can't wait to eat. So I just finished with the press work, um, if you notice, uh, I did them at the end of the workout, because as I was saying in the beginning, uh, this workout was mostly focused on touch and pulling, um, and the press is a different sort of strength. I think presses help more with the actual hold time which is something that I'm working towards as well, but it wasn't the focus for today's workout. So after this exercise, I'm gonna do maybe two or three more of tuck, because I don't think I have more strength to even uh, do anything in full front. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to add some volume with the tuck uh, progression, um, that would be for today.
Also, one thing I forgot to mention about the presses, if you notice, I didn't care about doing hold, press, or even trying desktop. That was not, that was not the focus of uh, this exercise. This time it was purely about gaining uh, strength in the pressing and trying to slowly add more volume. Uh, with this band, in that placement, I managed to do like five or six when I'm fresh, um, so I just want to increase that. Later on, when I manage to do a higher volume, I will try to do them with a desktop press or even do like three seconds hold press, but that was not the focus of this uh, workout. So with the tag combos, um, I don't really have a plan in mind. I normally just like to have a bit of fun and, you know, play with it. Uh, don't care much about form either. Uh, I think my main goal for now, when I do tag, is just to like increase volume. Um, so what I mean by that is I don't really care much if I don't touch the bar or on every single rep or if I don't fully lock out, things like that, they are not really important at this, at this point. Um, so yeah, I just switch things around. Uh, I like to play with things that I'm very far away in the full position, like pull to touch and stuff like that, or a lot of reps. Um, so yeah, basically just yeah, have fun. Alright guys, so I just finished my last set um, and actually finished the whole workout. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the content and hopefully you learn something about it. And I hope it also gives you like a little bit more insight of how I train and you know, the volume, intensity, uh, things that I'm working towards. And also you can see a bit of my level, like actually how it looks a full session for myself, you know? Um, yeah, I hope you like it. So if you have any questions or is there anything else you would like to see, uh, just let me know and I will try to answer or maybe in the future create another video. Um, I was just taking the time and it actually took me over two hours to finish this training. Even though I was only doing front lever, but because I was recording every single clip and talking with the camera and shit, uh, and also with my phone. It took me a long last time, so yeah, I hope you like it, uh, and it was worth for me the, the, the investment. Peace!